cannot marry a lady at the age range of 28 to 30. Why? Well, Una don't expire. They, they've expired already. Like, okay, let's hear, let's hear what you have to say. I with women who are 28 and above and still single. Because what are you waiting for? If you see you're pushing your career, your career can win. Women are actually looking for someone that can take care of all their shit. That is in terms of finance. That is why they don't end up to marry who they want. They marry okay. for money. If a guy approaches you now as a lady, the first thing that comes to your mind is, oh, this guy just wants to sleep with me. You ladies don't know how to talk. Okay, I'm walking up to you like I'm seeing for the first time. It's not that you are beautiful. We both know that. I just want to help you. you see, I don't know where you're from, but then you need to like debunk that. But that's the fact, Ex the young lady. Excuse me, I'm talking. I'm okay, talking, okay. so please hold Yes, we need to have these conversations. Under no condition should you say somebody is 28 or 30 has expired. You he said, say, I'm not wait, 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 let me laugh. The funniest aspect is that I'm walking up to you. I'm complimenting you that, oh, wow, I like your smile, which is all for normal, we know. But I'm appreciating what God has done in your life. You are looking for a uh, tall, rich kid. And most of these people, their daddies have put bellies at home. See? Can you have an argument? Are you sure? Okay, okay. so if you can have an argument, wave your hands. Oh, you already selected some people for me. Okay, so come on board. Two years, live on stage, University of Lagos, our very, very first stage conversation. So I'm going to ask this question. By show of hands, who has it easier finding true love? Men? Women? You guys, we're going to have a boring conversation. No? Men or women? Men? Men or women? Women? Men? Okay, why do you say women? Um, the main reason why I say uh, it's very easier for ladies to find love more than men is that you girls, you have all it takes to own us. You still don't get it. They'll call you guys our mothers. Are you getting me? So you have everything in possession. Like you can walk up to me, talk to me. It's very, very easy for me to create feelings. Okay, so love. if you are saying women find it easier to find true love, then why is it that you have a lot of women nowadays who are above the age of 30 and they don't seem to have husbands? The reason why is that uh, many ladies don't know how to talk. They are very, very... They don't, they don't have manner of approach. Like, I don't know, maybe they lack home training or jokes apart, I'm saying it. And uh, let me tell you something. The only place you can find girls like that are even in campus. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. You guys, you're angry. Is there anybody who wants to respond to, her, to him? He said you women, you don't have respect. What's your response to him? Now you tell me that because we lack manner of approach to guys. Normally, as we all know, back in the olden days, it's a guy that has to woo a woman. But now it is women that are standing up to the chance to woo men. To woo men. So women are bringing, they are the ones coming up these days. They are the ones that are getting courage to woo men these days. So you can't tell me that a woman, because of she does not have the attitude, she does not know how to talk, that is the reason why you say that... You you we have okay, we okay, lack okay, manner okay, of okay, approach. Okay, you know what, it you know is what? not done that way. Calm down, calm it's down, normal calm for you guys down, to walk. Calm us. down. Ladies, gentlemen, ladies, gentlemen, if you don't man up, you won't make it to the end of today. All right, so we're going to the audience. Is there anybody in the audience who wants to respond? Okay, let's hear, let's hear what you have to say. I believe women who are 28 and above and still single, because what are you waiting for? You see, you're pursuing your career. Your career can wait. <laughs> because what are you waiting for? Career or what? You can be married and still pursue your career. As for me, I don't think I even want to be single at the age of 28. Don't worry, you will soon be 38. I will see what you are doing by then. <laughs> but back to the panelists. All right? Is there anybody here? Who, do you agree with him? I totally disagree with him because I feel bad character is from both sides. It's from both genders. Men have their own bad character. I can't be in a relationship where the guy, the guy is cheating constantly. You can't tell me to stay in a relationship because I'm getting older and the guy is cheating constantly. You can't blame females for having bad character. Okay, so that's, that's your response. Do you want to respond to her? Yeah, I want to respond. Okay. It, it's not only about your bad character. You don't know how to talk. Baba, you're, they're going to beat you. No, you're no going. you ladies don't know how to talk. <laughs> all right, Some all right. Of okay, you, so... No, let me just reply to her. Some of you don't even... Okay, I'm walking up to you like I'm seeing for the first time. 
It's not that you are beautiful. We both know that. I just want to help you. You say, sir, you say, we, you say, no. we say, 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 so, uh, the, the funniest aspect is that I'm walking up to you, I'm complimenting you that, oh, wow, I like your smile, which is awful normal, we know, but I want to, I'm appreciating what God has done in your life for you. Then the, your mentality is already judging me by my look. You are looking for a uh, tall, fair, uh, rich kid. And most of these people, their daddies are pot bellies at home. See, let's talk in ten. Okay, okay, okay. But you know, guys are players, they, right? They, they are you know, guys are play people, they play ladies. Okay, the rules, the rules, the rules of all right. So, we'll go to the audience, we'll give one person in the audience to come back to the panel. I'll take Lady in Black. Hello, everyone. So, first of all, both of you to think that women are disrespectful. I don't know where you're from, but then you need to like debunk that from this from the scratch but that's the fact the Ex young lady. excuse me i'm talking i'm okay, talking okay. so please hold yes, yes, i'm yes, talking yes. and then both of you to assume please take a room both of you to assume that you are you are offering any woman anything in life like we're not already complete excuse you we have gone past that, that era where women feel women have to be subjected to oh if no man walks up to you, you're not complete. If no, if no man walks up to you, women are owning their shit and they are doing their stuff. So don't tell me that women are disrespectful. Anybody's ugly. Please, 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 please. Okay? Okay, okay. If you sure. like somebody and you want to talk to her and you feel like she's going to, she, she, you know, you have to talk to her like trash. Please move on, but not everybody. And don't ever, ever all right, all right, say so, that women are disrespectful. Okay, so, no, you can't respond to her. You have to take it. You started the fight, so you're going to take the fight, all right? Just, we'll come back to the panelist. Um, yes, please give him a mic. Let's have your thoughts on that. I want us to talk as intellectuals, as, in, you know, as children in the hands of our parents. The parents are usually harder on the men more than the women. Why? Because the parent wants the children... Parents knows that the men are going to grow up to become okay, fathers. I, I apologize to do this, but I'm going to have to decamp you from the stage. You can't form your argument. So please, my apologies. Who's going to replace our gentleman? I apologize to you, sir, but I have to debunk you. Is there anybody who wants to replace him? Okay, let's take, let's, take, let's take the man in. Let's take the man in red. Come on. I apologize to you, sir, but you have to give up your stick. You have to speak loudly so that everybody can... Please, a round of applause for him. A round of applause for him, please. A couple of rules. I would suggest you go to our YouTube channel to go and watch the show. It's a dark post show, all right? A lot of people, it gets heated, but you have to contain your emotions. At the end of this particular session, we want to leave people with answers, all right? You may not like what somebody says on stage, but the truth is this. There are millions of men in Nigeria who think like this. You understand me? So please, let's just, so that we can listen to each other, we can hear each other talk. So I'm going to throw a question out. Because you mentioned something about people, you mentioned that women reach a particular age, they don't have manner of approach, and then people who approach them, they don't consider them. But some of the women here will tell you that they are looking for true love and they won't settle for anybody. So that leads me to a question. Is there a difference between getting true love or just getting married? Yes. 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 Let me hear your thoughts on that. From my experience, true love is actually, most people in Nigeria, in fact in Africa in general, don't marry their true loves. Because number one, in Africa, it is known that women are the, uh, men are the ones that approach the women. We women, we may like someone from afar, but that courage to go up to that person, to talk to him, it's like you're washing yourself down. In fact, if you have brothers and a girl walk up to them, that would be the main topic of the day. Once they come home, see this useless girl, she just step up to me and all of that. Even though they like the girl. So we tend to keep our opinions to ourselves and whosoever walk up to us, we just settle for what is available. We just pick out a few good qualities and you're like, okay, we can actually work with this. But if you research, you will see that 73% of people don't actually end up with their true loves. They just marry what is available. So you can't tell me maybe um, it's easier for men. So, all right, so, so she's saying that. I want to say something, okay, sorry. Let me hear your thoughts. Okay, I actually don't agree with 100% because I feel in the society we have right now, that we are right now, um, ladies don't really have a say when it comes to marrying someone. I will tell you why I say so. So, um, while I was in school, I have this female friend. She's very, very beautiful. And she's always attracted to tall, dark, handsome guys. That's that problem. As in, that is what she likes. 
tall, dark, handsome guys. So, last month, she got married to someone that has big stomach and short. So, I'm trying to understand, how do you go from you liking tall, dark, handsome guys to you going to big belly and, and short? So, what I'm trying to say here is that I think majority of the time, women are actually looking for someone that can take care of all their shit. That is in terms of finance. That is why they don't end up to marry who they want. They marry okay. for money. So Most I, times, I, someone I that is to take care of right, their right, basic right, right, That is that. just the honest Calm truth. Down. Gentlemen, I have the microphone. I have a question for you. Yes. Are you trying to say that she settled for that guy? She settled for money. That is okay. the majority of the times. Women settle for money. Someone that can take care of them. That okay, is just so the honest I have, truth. I have a question for the audience. I know, I know one, one truthful thing is that a lot of ladies will actually disagree to it. But come next, maybe you guys are probably still younger and naive. Maybe in the next five years, when you want to settle down, we'll see you want to settle down with. Of course, Regina Daniel married there to Konko. You only is there to Konko a true love? Is the honest okay. truth. I have, I have a question. I have a question. Women, women, women in the audience, please. I have a question for you. At what age? At what age do women seem to find it difficult to date? Let's be honest. At what age? I'd say in their late twenties. What particular age? Um, let's say 29, 30, because there they are looking for something stable. They are looking for a relationship. They are not looking for anything fickle. They are not looking for just dating and oh, I'm on this date today, on this date tomorrow. So it's hard for them to just go out to any guy that just comes to their DM. I'm like, hey, I like you. You are this. You are that. You are this. So okay. they are looking for something more stable. stable. Let me ask you, do you agree with that? Um, are you saying that at the age of 28 to 30, that's a good age for women? Yes, uh, like um, from 28 to like your 30s. Are you getting me? You will surely have the difficulties in all this relationship and stuff you, like that. You might not. Are you getting me? But I cannot marry a lady at the age range of 28 to 30. Wow. Well, Una don't expire. De they've expired already. Like, and I don't... Now, this is a reason... Wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Calm down. Calm down. You, you've expired. Calm like... down. This... Calm down. Calm down. Audience. Audience, please calm down. I... I want... Listen. Do not assume. I need you to reframe that word, Do not please. assume. Let him explain what he means by that. What do you mean by that? When, when you're already approaching the age of like 28, 30, just forget it. I'm sorry to use this word. You cannot be sexually active again. Like... Okay, so... I'm, I, you can't. I'm going to stop. I will stop you at this point. No. At this point, I'll stop you. No, just I think about, too far. Let the truth be told. Oh, all right, I'm gentlemen, scared. gentlemen, just calm down. Calm down. Calm down. I'll stop you at this point. I'll stop you at this point. Uh -oh. um, I'll ask you, Daffy. Yeah. We'll come to the women. We'll come to the woman. Daffy. Will you date a woman above the age of 28? Um, personally, it's just preference. Um, me as a person, I will not date someone above 28. The reason is because um, women at the age of 28 have actually had a lot of experiences. I'm not saying, I'm not generalizing maybe all the women, but me personally, women at the age of 28, probably while you are younger, you, you meet people you, you have to like you have the experience you have the um how do you have with it the opportunity okay, how, to how meet a lot you? of how people you? How i'm 30 years old right now ah, you're 30 i am 30. Baba. so if i want to actually end up with someone i will end up with someone younger than i am like probably i'm okay, probably okay, okay. our age difference is please, six years please, please come. of all course right, i so. can't marry someone older as older let's as let's come back to the audience all right so we're going to talk to ceo of tech Gabal. All right, so can we give him a microphone, please? I think it's very important for us to understand something. What we are doing here is very interesting. It's important. We need to have these conversations. But, Mr. Host, please, I'd like you to speak to the guys on the stage. Under no condition should you say somebody is 28 or 30 has expired. You shouldn't say that at all. Exactly. No matter the point that you're trying to make, please ask them to speak correctly. Whatever point you are trying to make, it is not okay at all. All right, so I hope you've, you've, you've heard the feedback from them. So let's, so let's, let's, let's take that from them. We'll leave the issue of age. You have opened up a can of worms. We won't discuss that. All right, but we'll leave the issue of age. 
All right? So let's, let's, let's go on. I personally, I shouldn't say this as the host, but I personally feel that it's a woman's choice to, it's a woman's choice to end up with whoever she has to end up with. It's a woman's choice to settle with whoever she wants to settle with. There are some biological realities. And I'm, I, I come from the perspective of a doctor. There are biological realities. All right? But we will not feed into your, we will not feed into your argument with that. So let's go on. So we've spoken about the, we've spoken about the issue of age. Somewhere along the line, people will tell you, and I, and I know people who dated people for years that wasted their time. I know people who dated men for seven years, and at the end of seven years, by the time the man broke up, went to go and marry somebody younger. And so it's not that argument does not stand. At, that argument does not stand by itself. But let's continue with the conversation. So what exactly, with the absence of age, what exactly are the barriers towards people dating today? What are the barriers? And we want, it to, want to have answers that are practical, that people in the audience can think about, reflect, and work with. Because people cannot change their ages. So what, are the, what exactly are the barriers? Can we take the lady at the back, raising up her hand, please? The conversation we're having is the dating crisis. Why people, why single people are not getting married today and what they can do about it? So quickly, in 30 seconds or less, what exactly are the barriers? I feel like the most reason why people can't date now is maybe due to their past experience and for some ladies overthinking. For example, if a guy approaches you now as a lady, the first thing that comes to your mind is, oh, this guy just wants to sleep with me. So most times, girls are scared and because that's like, maybe something has happened to them in the past. And then for the guys, they feel like, okay, this lady just wants to um, use me for my money. Especially guys that look good and have money and smell nice. Whenever a lady approaches them, they feel like that lady wants to use him for his money. So most times, they don't see the fact that maybe they like each other or anything. They're just scared because of maybe their past experience or what happens most times. Because we actually see it in stories. Or we hear okay, so, about what, so let me get you right. You're saying that past experience is what's stopping most yes, women. Yes, but not everybody has... Not everybody has this past experience now. But most nah, people, money. they get from, as I said, stories. We also hear stories from other people. All right, so let's come back to the stage. Do you agree with her? Yes, uh, to be sincere, she has really hit the point. Because um, personally, um, there's a young girl I approach, you know, um, that was December. You know, so you're saying girl, this, is a, this, is a, this story is a crime in progress? This is real. This is real life. Actually, happened to me. So I approached this girl. I liked her. So I, she's 28 as I'm talking. So I told her, I like you. But, you know, this girl would not believe me because she's keep on, you know, talking about her past and many men have deceived her. They've slept with her. She, you know, she will ask me, are you, look, are you looking for my body? See my body, are you looking for Bros, I said, nah, no, 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 it's not your body. I why, why, are you like you. why are you looking for a body, truly? No, no, no. That is a Bros, <laughs> nah, money. Okay, okay, okay so. It's so, what you have, what I, you have I, done I, before to uh, have Okay, now. so let me, let me, let's, 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 let's have your thoughts, then we'll come, we'll come to you. Okay, for me, if I'm, um, the barrier is hindering dating. Now, what she said was so right, but then there's the aspect of goals. For a lady, maybe um, you are, I don't know what age, but you have a goal you want to accomplish. Then probably you see someone that you probably like. And what the guy is saying is, okay, you're asking the guy, like, try to talk serious matters. What is your plan for the future? And the guy is just like, nothing. Or like, we'll just go with the flow. When you say plan for the future, what do you mean by plan for when the I future? When I say plan, like, okay, aside education, what, what other aspect are you looking at for your life? Personally, I will, I will not just come to school and be like, okay, I'm just here in school. Then after school, when, when we reach that time, we'll know what we'll do. No, I'm supposed to be thinking, okay, I'm like, let's say I'm 19. I'm supposed to be thinking. You're 19. I'm 19. I'm supposed okay, to be so thinking, listen, listen. I'm, now, please do not take offense at what I want to say. Okay. All right, please do not take offense. Yeah. But you see, in the way you mentioned you're 19, a lot of people are looking, a lot of people's response to you is that you have not, you have not yet entered the Never reach. But I have older ones. I have real older ones. So we, it's a kind of conversation that I'm, I'm used to. But firstly, like goal, goal setting is something Has that... Has there anybody that, you have met who wants to marry you at age 19? I have. Okay. I have, which is why someone like me will not be at 18 and I'll be thinking of dating someone wanting to marry me at this age. At that age. So we'll come back to you. Your thoughts. What exactly, what exactly are the barriers towards women and men? 
dating um, today. Mistakes are also one of the reasons why most of them don't get married. What I mean, mistake, maybe they did something that was bad. We can't hear past. you. We can't hear you. Like maybe they did something that was bad in their past and their partner gets to find out about it. Did you Let's say think, mistakes? Yes. What do you mean by mistakes? Let's say, for instance, a girl that has been doing runs, maybe hook up before. And I, then I can't hear you. A girl who has been doing what? Runs, like hook up business before. Okay. And then the guy she wants to get married to gets to find out that this girl has been doing runs, maybe his friend or his, his colleagues, then to them that this babe had not carrying her before, stuff like that. They get to find out that this girl has been doing runs. They wouldn't want to marry her. You are speaking as if you have experience with this particular matter. Yes, um, I do have an experience with it, actually. Um, I'm a student of Last Protect, um, an accident, actually, I'm sure already. So, this is department now at school, SLT department. Ah. You see that department? It is the home base of UCOP girls. So, you're going to school every day because I'm in an engineering department, and then you meet to them, you stay with guys, you meet them, and they'll be like, you just see a fine girl, you know, this girl that shape and stuff. And then you'll be like, ah, what's up? This girl is fine, no? They'll be like, I believe that one, Jerry. Not carrying her before. All those kind of things tend to break relationship and scatter relationship with your partners. All right, so we'll come back to this. So we've spoken about age. We're talking about past, okay? It's obvious the way this conversation is going that we cannot finish this conversation here today. It's very, very obvious. So, where do we go from here? Okay. All right, so I'll, I'll tell you this. And I know what I want to say is risky to say. But I want to say, by the time I'm done saying it, there's a good chance that if you have a gun here, you may shoot me. So please allow me to say it. I know there is freedom of speech. There might not be freedom after speech. Okay, so here are my thoughts. I work as a doctor every day. And I get to see... And I started having this conversation about two years ago with women because I started seeing women in their 30s, late 30s, who kept coming in and they were having difficulty having children. Okay? And so somewhere along the line, you start talking to people. And I started hosting the podcast because... At some point, I felt, you know what, it's best to help people before they get to that point where they have to spend millions of naira on IVF and fertility treatments. So these are my thoughts, and my thoughts are backed by scientific evidence. We can't get into everything today. I was thinking we would have 90 minutes, but let me just tell you the summary of my thoughts. Okay? British Medical Journal. All right? From the time a woman is born till the time in which she stops having children, or she stops till she attains menopause. She usually has about 300,000 eggs. 300, 400,000 eggs. And on a monthly basis, a thousand of them are shed. You ovulate one, but a thousand, they are shed. Some of them don't mature. So usually, from the time a woman starts her menses to the time in which it becomes difficult to have children, she has like a 25, 27, 30 year window. It doesn't mean that people above the age of, it doesn't mean people who ovulate, who have menses for 30 years, cannot have children. It just means that it gets progressively harder. Usually by the age of 30, 90% of the eggs a woman has are shed. By the age of 40, usually about 97%. And usually we don't tend to have these conversations here. It's mind shift. I came to shift your mind. So a lot of times when people come to the hospital and they're telling that they're having difficulty conceiving, what's actually happening is that they have put up childbearing for too long. It's not hard. It's not as if it's impossible, but it becomes harder. So most of the time, if you go to, if you go to, hospi if you go to hospital and a doctor is advising you, they will tell you that the ideal time for you to try to have children is from the age of 18 to the age of 25. That's the ideal. I'm not saying that's the ideal time to get my... I said you are going to hate me. Hear me, hear me, hear me. The ideal does not mean that... It does not mean that it's easy. I know Nigeria is hard. So as a result, these conversations are important. So a couple of, a couple of suggestions, because we don't have time to unpack everything. Okay? First, if you are here, all right? If you are here, are you with me? If you are here and you are in your reproductive age group, I will tell you this. If you are hanging out with men, men like me, all right, who are saying that they promise to marry you, 
Okay? If you do not insist on it, they will use you to play football. I've seen all manners of stories. You ask people, how do you get to the age of 35 before trying to have children? They will tell you they dated somebody for like seven, eight years, and then the person broke up with them, went for a younger model. You understand me? So, insist on it. That's one. I'm summarizing. Insist. If you've gone out on six dates with a guy, and you are in that age in which you should be having children, you ask the guy, what is happening? Okay? So that if the man does not want to buy, he will not waste your time. A few suggestions of people who have come on the show. In Nigeria, it's very, very hard for you to find a young man below the age of 28 who is ready to get married. Unless he comes from a Fulani or Ausa family and his family, they are ready to marry for him. So if you meet a guy and you are in school and you meet the guy and the guy is telling you he's 22 years of age and it's important for you to get married and have children on time, just realize that before the guy graduates school, before he gets a job, before he goes for youth service, before he works first year, second year, third year, to be able to pay for the wedding, the house, and the first baby, time might have gone. And it's a mistake that we have seen people have. Okay, so to summarize, thank you very much for being a part of this session. If you want to see more, if you want to have more conversation, you can check out our YouTube channel. We have live streams on Tuesdays, 5 p.m. And if you have questions, I'll do you guys a favor here. If you have questions, fertility questions, relationship questions, and you come on the live stream, if I don't attend to you personally, I'll find someone who will. Thank you very much for your time.